from factories left in ruins to a snow cruiser lost in Antarctica. Here are abandoned machines. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm your host, American Eye, bringing to you another epic video. Before we get started, make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and leave us a comment let us know what you think. Number 14. Abandoned Arcade Machines Japan Japan is certainly known for their love of video games, so it's a little bit unsettling to see a site like this with so many abandoned arcade machines. Located in Nikko, Japan, this was once an amusement park known as Western Village, which was an American theme park. It had everything from a Mount Rushmore replica to even the old saloon. There are quite a few creepy abandoned things here, but among the ruins are the arcade machines, which bring back memories of the 1990s. He received some kind of horse racing machine, which you might have remembered playing with as a kid. This photo here shows some kind of cat slot machine that might have helped out kids win some tickets back in the day. Are there a lot of arcades that have gone abandoned, or are they still popular with kids today? Number 13. The BOS 400 if you're sailing around Cape Town, South Africa, you might come across this old rusting abandoned oil rig off the coast. A lot of people don't even really know that it's there until they get close enough to see that it's there. A French crane barge hit the ground during a storm in 1994. It was apparently being tugged by a boat that wasn't big enough to handle its size and eventually the vessel broke loose. The ship was deemed as too damaged to salvage and has kind of been abandoned ever since. It has a massive crane on it which makes it more machine-like in a sense. Number 12. Gasworks Park If you're really into abandoned machines and like to visit a park with a little bit of urban decay, this might be an interesting place to go to. Located in Seattle, Washington, Gasworks Park is made up from an old gaslight company plant and it's the only remaining coal gasification plant in the US. It operated for 50 years between 1906 and 1956 and eventually it turned into a park. A variety of different machines operated here including sawmills that date way back to the 1800s. The area will continue to develop as an industrial site, but other things such as storage tanks, a boiler house, a pump, and some laboratories will be constructed. Number 11. The Marks Generator Hidden within a forest near Moscow is a strange abandoned machine that might cause some confusion if you stumbled upon it. This massive configuration of tubes and coils is what's known as the Marks Generator and it's a shockingly powerful machine. This strange device is capable of generating lightning bolts. As peak performance, it was able to generate a discharge of lightning equal to all the power generators in Russia, but only for a fraction of a second. It could create a lightning bolt over 100 feet high. Why would the Soviets build such a powerful electrical device? This was to test how planes and other equipment would hold up against lightning strikes or to see how they would react against an electromagnetic pulse. The US had constructed a similar electronic pulse simulator for the same reasons, but it looks completely different. Number 10. The Atlas-1 Electromagnetic Pulse Simulator After the Americans knew the Russians had the capabilities of electromagnetic pulse, they conducted a series of tests in response to see how their equipment would hold up. This mainly took place at the Kirtland Air Force Base in New Mexico. Even after atmospheric testing was banned in 1963, during an act of war, they knew it was definitely still possible. Here in this image, we see a strange test being conducted on a B-52 Stratofortress hooked up to the Atlas-1 Electromagnetic Pulse Simulator. This would essentially act as a platform that could deliver 10 million volts of electricity at once. It's also one of the oldest wooden structures and it cost $60 million to produce. Other planes were tested on this platform and there's no word on whether or not this completely blew up the electrical system of the plane or not. Number 9. The Train Cemetery, Uyuni What might appear at first glance to be a bad case of pollution has actually turned into an obscure tourist attraction in the country of Bolivia. Located in the southwestern part of the country, you'll find the Great Train Graveyard, which was left over during a time when salt mining was a big industry here. The region has been known to be strategically located for trade, since highways and railroads for bordering countries tend to meet right here at the spot. Many trains were left abandoned here due to the technical difficulties or simply from depleting the resources nearby. There is no shortage of salt in this area, and you can tell pretty much the entire surrounding area is kind of creepy. Number 8. The Penguin Mobile from 1937 to 1939, a vehicle was introduced to Antarctica known as the Snow Cruiser, but aka the Penguin. It was left abandoned and rediscovered during Operation High Jump, which was a strange military operation on the icy continent between 1946 to 1947. Other rumors state that the Soviets destroyed it during the Cold War, but it's nowhere to be found. A few more attempts to settle on the icy continent would fail, and many would simply float away into the ocean. It wasn't until 1959 when different countries agreed that only scientists were allowed here. 
Number 7. The Bagger 293 Built in Germany in 1995, this bucket wheel excavator is the largest land vehicle by weight in the world. RWE Power AG, the second largest energy producer in Germany, uses this machine in a coal mine near Hambach. The impressive piece of equipment stands a record 315 feet tall, it's 738 feet long, and weighs 31 million pounds. Its output is as remarkable as its measurements. The excavator can move 240,000 cubic meters of soil daily and has made it to the Guinness World Record book for being the highest and the tallest terrestrial vehicle. It weighs a similar amount to 2,000 adult elephants. The massive machine was constructed in 1955 with a few sibling vehicles or smaller sized baggers. If you ever played the game called Call of Duty Black Ops, it looks similar to a machine found in the multiplayer level known as Radiation. The wheel is about 70 feet in diameter and each bucket can lift 15,000 pounds of material. Number 6. Space Shuttle Kazakhstan Many of the Soviet Union's new buildings were built far away from the capital city of Moscow and into occupied territory or satellite states. Ralph Mureb captured some truly remarkable photos of an abandoned Soviet space shuttle and the building used to house it. The Soviet space program was quite successful and they sent people into space well before the Americans did. This area in Kazakhstan is quite remote, so it really seemed as if no one had returned to this place since they left it. Here you see the inside of the cockpit of one of the space shuttles where the pilots would have sat during missions. It's believed that this spacecraft actually made it into space at some point. Number 5. The Winnen Steam Gun Reloading rifles during the Civil War was slow and cumbersome, but being able to get off multiple rounds would have been a huge advantage. The Gatling gun saw first use in 1862 in the Siege of Petersburg, Virginia by Union soldiers, but at that time it was still very much an experimental weapon. They were privately owned and would be mainly used for fortifying strategic locations. The Confederates believed that they had their own secret super weapon with a machine gun that utilized steam power instead of gunpowder. This was a massive automatic weapon that could supposedly fire 200 rounds per minute. As the gun was in movement after being ordered by the Confederates, the Union intercepted the wind and steam gun and never saw action in the battlefield. Number 4. Humberstone, Chile Located deep within the Atacama Desert in the country of Chile are Humberstone and Santa Laura. This area was home to two saltpeter refineries which is often used in gunpowder, fertilizer, and even as a preservative in the Middle Ages. The resource was discovered in 1872 and they quickly became prosperous towns despite the harsh conditions. Here we see a photo of the workers' quarters and you have to imagine the conditions living here would have not only been extremely hot but also heavily crowded. This photo here displays the old theater which would have been a relaxing spot for the workers to clear their minds of rigorous work that took place. There are also quite a few old factories such as this one in Humberstone that's been abandoned for quite some time now. Financial problems with the mines were eventually enough to close them down as well as the towns that were built nearby. Number 3. The Ventspils Radio Telescope This massive radio telescope remained top secret when it was constructed in 1974 out of 600 tons of material by the Ukrainian Navy. This would have been used to pick up radio signals from NATO and for covert eavesdropping operations. This is found in western Latvia, right off the coast of the Baltic Sea. When Latvia gained their independence, the Soviets tried their best to destroy it as much as possible, but Latvian scholars were able to restore much of it so they can use it for studying. Number 2. The Tesla Tower A free energy source would mean big oil companies go out of business and less reliance on the government. Some claim that this type of energy was found during the Roswell crash, while others believe that the scientist Nikola Tesla designed it. The no-cost pollution-free energy would have utilized Earth's natural movement and it was suppressed in the early 1900s by various groups who believed that their jobs were on the line. J.P. Morgan cut funding to Tesla's tower in New York when he found out that it might rival over control of his fossil fuels. Although you can't see it today, the metal was scrapped in 1917 in order to pay off the debt. And number 1. The Crimean Atomic Energy Station This unfinished construction project remains abandoned in Russia and it was said to be one of the bigger power plants in Ukraine. After Pripyat appeared to be a success until the meltdown, the Soviets thought that they could build a similar one in the Crimean Peninsula. But not all went according to plan. A town known as Skolkine was built in order to house the workers who were building the project. After the Chernobyl power plant disaster, many scientists began to doubt the power plant's design and started to double-think its construction. Today, the city and the site are completely abandoned. It's better to not take a risk with the same design that contaminated a large part of the country. Other power plants have been abandoned due to the association with the one in Chernobyl. 
So what'd you guys think of that video? Be sure you hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more epic American Eye videos. We'll see you next time.